Question. Do you think had Usopp not been injured during the CP9 arc that he could have potentially defeated Luffy in their fight? Hey, what's up everybody from that world here and I'm here today to talk a little bit about One Piece today. More specifically, I'm going to be talking about the fight between Usopp and Luffy during CP9. Now, I've recently been watching through the CP9 arc, and this fight was really intriguing, and I thought I wanted to discuss something. Prior to the fight between Usopp and Luffy, Usopp was very badly injured. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll explain a little bit of the scenario for those who aren't uh, familiar or have forgotten a bit of what happened during that arc. So, Usopp was trusted with a lot of money. They trusted him to hold a lot of money for them, you know, the pirates, uh, Luffy, Nami, etc. He was holding some money for them. He was robbed by some, basically, crooks, and they took the money and beat him up really badly, and he felt ashamed and embarrassed by it because the money that they had was so that they could fix their ship to go and marry and you know he just felt disgusted with himself he went to that place to try to get it back they beat him up even worse and you know he was just humiliated a few days later he finds out that that money that uh, they were going to use was actually going to be able to buy a new ship and they were getting rid of the going Mary because the going Mary is beyond fixing at this point Usopp you know basically he's not accepting that you know, this isn't, to him, this is like, are you kidding me? You know, this is his love. The ship to go and marry is something very special and important to him. And this is what begins the conflict between them that leads to their battle. And, you know, to me, in my opinion, this is up to this point, one of the greatest moments in One Piece, definitely top tier. Because we finally see, you know, the, the tone of the series starts taking a shift. You know, because before it was all, you know, they're Nakama and they care for each other and everything but now it starts taking a little more of a serious tone and you know I thought it was really awesome the way it was handled and everything and it leads up to a fight basically you know a lot of tension leads up to this big fight where Usa basically says I'm not gonna be a straw hat anymore you know I'm done with you and you know Luffy even takes it a bit far as to almost kick Usopp out before he can do that Sanji kicks him etc so it leads up to this incredible fight and you know for once you know I gotta be honest Usopp really held his own in this fight you know he knew how to handle Luffy he used a lot of his dials he used you know a lot of his uh, slingshot techniques you know he burned Luffy up he hit him with a lot of stuff you know he gave it his all for being very badly injured he was you know very badly injured and Luffy won in the end however I wanted to raise the question do you think that Usopp could have potentially beat Luffy had he been at 100% you know it's possible to be honest with you it's really possible that he could have defeated him if he was you know able to move around more if he wasn't like coughing up blood if he wasn't every you know that one last hit that Luffy gave him was already like you know he was already injured so that one hit kind of was like a knockout blow because of all the other injuries he previously had sustained. Now, I think that if Usopp was 100% healthy, it would have even been worse for Luffy, to be honest with you, because Usopp would have been able to do more. Now, potentially he could have won, but likely the outcome would have been the same because, you know, Oda, of course, is going to have the captain be able to defeat all his men, you know. I doubt he would have let Usopp defeat Luffy regardless, but I think that there was really potential, and, you know, this is a part where Usopp really shines, in my opinion, the most, because we finally see that he's a man, and he will stand up for what he believes in, and he actually goes really deep into this fight. He really goes hard as he can to possibly win, and, you know, it's kind of, he knows he really, it's almost like the chances of him winning are like slim to none, but he keeps going anyway, and this is what makes the fight incredible. But I think, again, if he wasn't injured, I think that there could have been a different outcome, to be honest with you. You see, like, for example, it would have been possible maybe after that one punch he took from Luffy that ended the match, maybe he could have kept going, maybe he could have done something there had he not been so injured from the previous fight. Let me know what you think of this whole thing. Do you think that it was possible that Usopp could have potentially defeated Luffy in the fight? Let me know in the comment section below or with a bitter response giving me your thoughts on this. And also, I would like to know, do you think that this was a top tier fight? Do you think that this is definitely one of the greatest moments in One Piece up to the CP9 arc? Again, let me know in the comment section below or with a bitter response giving me your thoughts. But that's all I have for you guys today. I'm from Neverworld, and see you later. Nakama.